Hello. Now we will discuss DC analysis of a differential amplifier which is a basic building block of an operational amplifier. Diagram shows the differential amplifier. The ammeters are connected together. VE is applied to the emitter side. VCC is applied at the collector of the both the transistor Q1 and Q2. We are connected to V1 and V2 signal generate signals. RS1 and RS2 are the internal resistance of the signal source. Whatever we say plus VCC or minus VE, these are measured with respect to ground. Based on the input given, based on the output from where we are taking, we have a four different configurations. We have a dual input balance output differential amplifier. We have dual input unbalanced output differential amplifier. Similarly, we have a single input balanced output differential amplifier and again one more single input unbalanced output differential amplifier. Dual input, the name itself gives the information we have two inputs given to the both the transistor. When I say balanced, the output is taken across the two collectors. This is a diagram shows the dual input balanced output. Balanced output indicates two collectors I am taking. And when I say unbalanced, I take output at one collector with respect to the ground. Similarly, for the single input, I won't give two inputs. I give only one input to the either Q1 base or Q2 base. Again, balanced output, unbalanced output remains same. If I take across the two collectors, it is a balanced. Otherwise, it is a unbalanced. The diagram shows a dual input balanced output differential amplifier. Let us have a DC analysis for this circuit. Let us assume V in 1 and V in 2 equal to 0. As all of us know, whenever I do the DC analysis, I have to make AC equal to 0. And internal resistance, which is will be very, very less for both the source, RS1 and RS2, I am taking as the source resistance both equal to let us consider as a R in and assume Q1 is equal to Q2 means I have a matched transistors. Applying a KVL to the base semitone loop of a transistor Q1, I will get this equation, please see it, RS1 is nothing but R in, hence R in into IB plus VB, a voltage across the base and emitter. I have a voltage across the RE, but in the IE, RE, I have two currents, one from the Q1, another from the Q2 emitter. Hence, it is a plus 2RE into 2IE minus the supply voltage emitter, what I am giving VE, is equal to total voltage 0. But all of us know IB is equal to IE by beta DC. What I do, simply I will replace IB by IE divided by beta DC. And I will rewrite the equation. That's all. This is taken from the previous slide. Now what I do? IB I will replace. IB by IE divided by beta DC. Now I will do the simplification. I take a IE common at the left hand side. And simply I will write IE equal to VE minus VB divided by R in by beta DC plus 2 RE where VB is a 0.6 for silicon transistor, 0.2 volts for germanium. Generally, the R in by beta DC will be very, very less compared to 2 RE. So, I can rewrite equation 2. I can neglect R in by beta DC and the equation becomes as written in equation number 3, VE minus VB divided by 2 RE. Coming to the collective voltage, Vc equal to, all of us know it is a Vcc minus ICRC. Now, I want to write an equation for collector to emitter voltage, Vce. It is nothing but uh, I want collector emitter voltage, Vc minus Ve if I take. In general, also we take a difference voltage. Similarly, here also I have written Vc equal to 
VC minus VE. VC we have written just now. Simply I will replace that VC equal to VCC minus ICRC and VE emitter voltage is nothing but VB because the RS1 drop will be negligible, very less. Ideally it is RS1 equal to 0. Hence I can take VE as a VB and if I simplify I will get a VCE equal to VCC plus VB minus IC. Thank you.